Do you want to learn how to record gameplay on your Nintendo Switch? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly that. I'm going to make sure to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible to not lose anyone along the way. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video because that's just how YouTube works. And if you ever wonder how a lot of these content creators have all these nicely looking stream designs, a lot of them get them from Owned. Owned is actually one of the biggest suppliers of overlays, alerts, panels, and everything that you would need for your streams and recordings. So if we actually look at their website, they have an email emote maker where you can go and design your own emotes. They also have different packages. So if we check out this pixel art series, you can see that it comes with all of these different alerts, animations, starting soon screens, transitions, and everything, including banners. Or if you're a YouTuber and you just wanted a cool little webcam overlay, we can go over their webcam overlay section. Let's click on this bestseller right here. And then getting this package right here will give you all of these different webcam overlays. So that way, when you're doing your YouTube recordings, you can have a nice little overlay around your webcam. But there's actually a lot of really cool stuff on OWN for both YouTubers and Twitch streamers. So I'll leave the link in the description down below where you guys can check it out. But in order to record our Nintendo Switch gameplay, we're going to have to get a capture card. The capture card that I use and I personally recommend to everybody is getting an Elgato HD60S or S Plus. Just because this is one of the most well-known names in the game and you're going to be able to get support and answered questions questions if you have any. If you get one of those cheapo off-brand ones from Amazon or eBay, most of the time you're going to have a headache or questions where no one's going to be able to answer because not a lot of people have them, unlike getting one of these. So if you guys need one of these, I'll leave a link in the description down below, but let me show you what else you need. Aside from needing a capture card, we're going to need a free piece of software, and for this video, I'm going to be using OBS Studio. But before we download OBS Studio, let me show you a quick diagram on how we're going to link everything up. So this is the basic diagram on how we're going to connect everything. We're going to take an HDMI cable, plug plug it one end into our Nintendo Switch dock, then the other end is going to go inside of our Elgato capture card, and that's going to go into the HDMI in because the video is going into the device. From there, we take another HDMI cord, we take it and place it from the HDMI out from the capture card, and we plug it into our TV that we want to play the game system on. Then we have a mini USB cable that goes from the capture card, and it goes into a regular USB port and we plug that into a USB 3.0 port on our computer. A 3.0 port is normally indicated by having a blue little color to the USB port, so just make sure that you have a 3.0 port before you get this specific capture card because you need one in order to use this one. But this USB cable is actually where the footage is going to be sent from our console to our computer, so that way we can send it to the computer in order to capture it and record it for YouTube and Twitch. So now that we understand how the setup works, let's grab OBS Studio. We can grab OBS Studio by going to obsproject.com, or if you're lazy like myself, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can just click that. And then once you're on this website right here, you'll click on Windows. It'll start a download, which you can see right here. We'll wait for that to finish up, open it, and then we'll install the software. Once you've installed the software, open it up and it should look like this. First thing we want to do is link our Nintendo Switch to this software. In this instance, I'm going to be using my Xbox 360 because my Switch is actually in the other room and I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty lazy, so it's the same exact process, but it, you'll just see a 360 instead of a Switch. So first thing we want to do is go to our sources right here in this bottom left. We'll click the plus button and then we'll click on video capture device. We're gonna rename this capture card just to know what it is. We'll click OK, and then now mine automatically pops up under device, but if you see device right here, click this drop down, and then you can see all of the different options that you have, all the different devices that are plugged into your computer. So for this instance, I'm using the HD60S, so I'm gonna click that, and as you can see, it's already pulled up. However, sometimes the resolution might be messed up, so if it is, click resolution right here and instead of doing device default you can click custom and then you can go to the resolution drop down here and then we can put 1080 so that way we have a 1080 resolution that we're working with here so when we're done with that we'll click ok so now that we've got our gameplay caught on the software if you're using a webcam or you want to have a webcam for your recordings what we can do is click this little plus button and then we can do another video capture device we'll just call it cam I'll hit ok and then we'll do the same thing, but we're going to click on our webcam. So I'm going to click on my second webcam because obviously I'm using one for this video, but I need another for this video. So we got two right now. So I, got, I can see you guys over there. But now we have the same exact process right here. We can do HD Pro webcam or whatever webcam that we have plugged in. The resolution, we can also do 1080p if you have a 1080p camera. Uh, in this case, I do, so I can. So I'll just do that, and then I can click OK. And then you can adjust the size of your webcam by grabbing one of the corners or you can grab the sides it's pretty much the same process or if you're on windows you can hold the alt key and then click and drag and you can kind of trim yourself like so 
So that way you can kind of get the best image that you want. But as you see, the camera is above the capture card over in the sources. But if we had it the other way around, so if I drag the camera underneath the capture card, then it's going to be behind it. So if you guys are having problems like that, make sure your camera is above your capture card. But now that we've got our webcam and our gameplay how we want it to be, now we can notice that we have different audio sources right here. So if you see, capture card has an audio source. So when you want to change the game volume of your capture card, you can just drag this little meter right here to get to the adjusted volume that you want it to be. So if your game is louder than you are, then you can go and adjust these knobs here. So if you wanted to use a microphone, we'll click on settings and then we'll go to audio and then we'll go to this mic audio device right here. Click this and then you can choose your microphone, which will happen to be a USB microphone you have plugged into your computer, which if you need a USB microphone, I'll leave some links in the description down below where you can choose from. I'll also leave a video in the top right corner of some of the microphones that I would recommend too. So once you have your microphone there, you can also choose your desktop audio. You can either have it set to default or you can have it set up to whatever speaker system that your computer is set up with because that's where the audio is gonna be coming out from. So once we have the audio devices set up, we can go into our output because this is where our recording settings are gonna be. So make sure your output mode is on advanced and then we'll click on the recording tab. You can make sure your type says standard. Your recording path, this is where your video files are gonna be saved. So if we click browse, you can go and add a folder or make a folder. So you can put it wherever you want on your computer, select that folder, and that's where your recordings are gonna be placed. Recording format, I personally use MP4. Some people use FLV. It's honestly up to you. I like MP4 more because it's more universal. For audio track, you can just check one and be good. The encoder, I would suggest using whatever encoder or GPU system you have going on. If you don't have one, then your only option will be X264, which just means that your computer is gonna be working a little bit harder. So you might have to adjust your settings later if that's the case. But if you've got an onboard one, like an AMD, NVIDIA, or anything like that, I would highly recommend using that over X264. So I'm gonna choose NVIDIA. From here, you can just copy my settings. I'm gonna keep it very simple. If you guys wanna get really crazy with it, then I'd recommend doing a quick Google search and seeing what specific settings you would need for your computer setup because each computer is gonna be different. So it's impossible for me to tell you what's gonna be the best for your system. So if you just wanna pause the video right here and just input these settings to yours, that'll probably be the easiest way to get you guys started. So once you have all these settings copied, we'll go to video and then we'll change the base canvas resolution so that's going to be whatever your computer monitor is so whatever your computer monitor is whatever size that is that's the resolution you're going to put i'm playing on a 1080 monitor right now so that means i'm going to be using a 1080 base resolution and if you want to have your recordings at 1080p then you would do the same here or if you wanted them to be 720p then you would just change this drop down to 1280 by 720p depending on what kind of recording you're trying to do but i want to do 1080p so my downscale filter i'm going to use lands coast because that's the best one you can get and i want to be recording in 60 fps so i have my common fps value to 60. once we've done all of that that's pretty much all we need to do in terms of our settings so good for you guys if you are still rocking with us right now but we can just hit apply and hit okay we're out of the settings. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and adjust your mic volume now because our microphone's now set up. You can change your game volume with the capture card or the desktop volume, all that kind of good stuff. And then from there, all you have to do is click this little start recording button like so. I'll click that. You can see it says stop recording because we're recording right now, it's live. And you can see that's indicated by this little red button down here. And then you can see the recording timers going up. So then when we click stop recording, this video file is gonna show up where we set our folder to in the settings. So if you don't remember where that is, you can just go back to your settings, go to output, recording, and then this is your recording path. So this is the folder that all your video recordings are gonna be stored in. So that's the really simple and straightforward way to record your Nintendo Switch gameplay to upload it to places like Twitch and YouTube. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you guys wanna buy me a coffee or something, my Patreon is also linked in the description down below. Thanks to all my lovely patrons above me. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. I think they might help, but my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.